it's my pleasure now to give the floor to the new Partnership for African Development. Dr. Ibrahim Manjaki to address us of the needs and the support which NAPAD has to get from us. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and my dear sister commissioner, I'm very happy to lead an institution where uh, it's 60, 40. It's 60 women and 40 men. So but, uh, so we, I think we, we are doing quite well in that sense. Um, I, I would like to focus on five quick issues. Uh, the commissioner has said it all. The first issue is we have CADEP, the Comprehensive African Agricultural Development Program, but we started implementing more than 10 years ago. And CADEP did not integrate issues related to climate change. What made us change? Fundamentally, listening to the farmers. So we moved from an expert-centered policy design and implementation process to a people-centered policy design and implementation process. And we still have a lot to do in that domain. But it's important for us to focus on this issue because as it is a multi-sectoral issue, the best way we can tackle it is not necessarily through better interministerial coordination, but, but, but by reviewing our mindset and being more people-centered. My second issue is that in 2010, the African Union designed its framework on climate smart uh, agriculture. And since then, we are in a learning curve. The two pillars in that learning curve, accumulation of knowledge and leadership. Both are critical. If we have knowledge without leadership, it's a useless knowledge for the issues that we want to tackle. So, Knowledge plus leadership is what will help us move in that learning curve. This year, my third point, 10 years uh, after, uh, after the implementation of, uh, of CAREP, we uh, in Malabo, under the leadership of the African Union Commission, and particularly a commissioner to Mizin, we designed our next strategy for the next 10 years and we framed a results framework. In that results framework, there are clear indicators related to climate smart agriculture. And uh, two days ago, uh, we launched an alliance with uh, five major international NGOs on climate smart agriculture, supported by FAO, supported by EFAD, uh, IFAD, UN agencies, and we want to open it to the private sector. In what refers to NEPAD and its program, uh, I have to make a special mention of Norway, who played a critical role in supporting us in this process. Lastly, uh, it is about knowledge, it is about leadership, and it is about people-centered processes. So beyond being a technical issue, climate smart agriculture is fundamentally a social issue. Thank you. 